welcome and thank you for joining me for this devotion during these 21 days of prayer and fasting. Today I'd like to focus on connecting with God through scripture. In Matthew 4, Jesus had been fasting for 40 days and Satan comes to him and challenges him to turn rocks into bread in order to feed his hunger. Then Jesus rebukes him and he refers to Deuteronomy 8 verse 3 and he says, It is written, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. We are encouraged to feed our spirits and nourish our souls by connecting with God through scripture and reading the word of God and allowing the, the word of God to, to speak to us personally and individually. In Psalm 1, the psalmist says, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but he delights in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. Then he promises, he shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water, bringing forth his fruit in season. His leaf shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper. Isn't that an incredible encouragement that as we feed on the word of God, as we connect with God through scripture, that we will bring forth fruit. We will, uh, the works of our hands will prosper. Uh, we will be blessed abundantly. Let me encourage you. There's many ways to connect with God. And the way you get to know God is by spending time with him and spending time in the word of God. As we get into the word of God and connect with God, he reveals to us his character. He reveals to us his nature. We discover who Jesus is and he reveals to us his ways, the principles by which he operates. So let's connect with God through scripture. I encourage you to do that as often as you can during this time of 21 days of prayer and fasting to nourish yourself, connect with God in all ways possible, but especially through scripture. Let's thank God for his word. Lord, we thank you for your word that's been passed down to us through the ages. Thank you for the revelation that comes to us as we connect with you, as we prayerfully consider the scriptures. Thank you that the Logos, the written word, becomes the rhema, the specific now word of God to us. And I pray that during this time, Lord, that our spirits will be nourished and fed as we connect with you in this way. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember to join us tonight at 8 o'clock for the live worship on the, the Facebook worship. And uh, keep well, keep safe, and keep trusting God.